When you're faced with a situation like we had with mom, it's an overwhelming process. And you know, when Bob and I came up for that tour, it felt right when we walked in. The thing that really, really stood out was how vibrant the staff was. Everybody smiles around here. Family members often have a very difficult time moving their loved one into one of our neighborhoods. It's difficult to let go. They've probably been caring for their loved one for an extended period of time, some of them for years. I knew that it was way beyond what we could do for her at home. And she's really kind of grown into this place since she's been here. We want our residents to have purpose, to have a life, to thrive. And so we have a great program through our daily rhythms where we follow their circadian rhythm throughout the day. We let our residents get outside. We take them out on outings where they get off the bus. It's not just, you know, a ride around town. They actually get to experience life. They went downtown to see the Indianapolis Indians play a baseball game. Yeah. Had popcorn, hot dogs. The field trips, the outings, you yeah. know. And it's nice to have those things offered to the residents. We all need purpose, whether you're going to water the flowers in the courtyard today, or maybe feed the fish. What is that little thing that you do that gives you purpose and a reason to get up? And people living with dementia need that just as much as anyone else does. There are direct correlations to levels of engagement to residents that could either delay or prolong the effects of memory loss. When family members move their loved one in, they are relieved of those responsibilities, that 24-7 care. And then they can come in and visit with their loved one and just spend time doing things that they enjoy. The worries that I had early on have subsided and I don't have that guilt like I first did with the first onset of coming here. We're passionate, we're committed, we hire good staff and we train them well so that they can meet the needs of those residents. We find and hear from families all the time, oh I wish I had done this sooner. When we talk about providing care, it's not just making sure they have their medications and they're bathed. It's emotional care and, and that's hard to measure in any chart. You know, it's hard to measure.